Hello everyone, it's Annie and I'm here today with my 2023 reading goals video. So I love making this video every year. I love setting goals for myself um, with my reading. So let's dive into it. Um, first, the goal that I always set for myself is the Goodreads Reading Challenge. And last year I set it at 100 books but I greatly surpassed that right now. The year is not even over and I'm over 200 books. So I don't really know. I might just set it at 100 again because I know I'm gonna hit it and it's a fairly good goal, but I might hit 150 too. So I might set it for 150. Um, we shall see. So let me know down in the comments what your Goodreads reading challenge goal is going to be this year. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go for 150. Why not? And then as far as specific reading goals, okay, um, first for classics, I said last year that I was going to read the whole works of the Bronte sisters this year, and I didn't. I didn't even read one, which is just embarrassing and ridiculous. Um, so I want to at least read Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights, and The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. So I get one of each sister, they're their most famous ones, and that way I can at least have those under my belt and say like, oh yeah, I've read Jane Eyre, like I've read Wuthering Heights, like, so I, I definitely want to read these three. That's very important to me. <laughs> I want to do it. Um, as far as other classics, I have already been kind of planning my January TBR, which you will see soon, but I definitely want to read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier because I've been saying I want to read that for so long. And last year, well, this year, actually, 2022 in October for Halloween, I read Dracula, which was the oldest book on my TBR. And I'm finally reading that. I read that. So... I want to read Rebecca, which is one of the other oldest books in my TBR. So I'm going to read it in January. Um, I'm just really looking forward to it. And I also want to dip my toe into a couple other classics. I have been wanting to read Virginia Woolf, and thankfully, most of her books are super short. <laughs> I have read her nonfiction, The Only Woman in the Room. Um, or no, that is not the title of it. I'm so sorry. Uh, Room of One's Own is the title. Um, I have read that and I really liked it, but obviously that's nonfiction and the other ones are going to be fiction. So I am thinking of starting with Mrs. Dalloway um, because it also fits a prompt on the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge, which let me get into right now. So I'm going to make a whole separate video about all the books that I recommend and am planning to read for the specific reading challenges. But if you followed me since last year, you know that I am going to be doing the Pop Sugar Reading Challenge and the Book Riot's Read Harder Challenge and Books and Lala's Buzzwordathon throughout the whole entire year. So Pop Sugar has about 50 prompts, Read Harder is about half that length, and Buzzwordathon is one prompt per month. There's like a word or a concept that you have to match a book title to each month. So they're both, they're all really, really fun to do. Um, I have a lot of fun trying to match up books that I already want to read to like fit a buzzword, for example. Um, and when I do my yearly wrap up and stats video, you'll get to see whether I completed <laughs> any or all of these challenges. So I'm really excited to also come out with my video on the Pop Sugar and Read Harder books that I recommend for each prompt because it's always so much fun to go through the prompts every year and see which books on my TBR and books that I have read that match up to it. So that's going to be really fun. And in addition to those three reading challenges, my library where I work is actually hosting its first ever 2023 year-long reading challenge. And this is the flyer for it. These are the prompts. So <laughs> my boss came up with the prompts and I am probably not going to do all of them because some of them like read a historical romance or read a book set in World War One, like I don't really want to do to be honest so I'm going to follow some of them but I think it's going to be really fun 
and since I work at the library, I kind of should <laughs> try and participate as much as possible. So yeah, so I'm going to try and do this, but more informally than the others. And as far as more general reading, um, I usually do um, Black History Month in February, Asian and Pacific Islander um, Heritage Month in May, um, Native American Heritage Month in November, but I have never read um, specifically for Hispanic or Latinx a Her Heritage Month in September slash October, um, which I don't know why. So I'm going to try and do that this year because um, in my stats, which again, you'll see in a separate video, um, Latinx authors, I am having a really hard time reading more of them. So I definitely want to make it a goal for myself to read more books by Latinx authors. Um, so that's going to help, hopefully, but obviously I also want to try and do that throughout the whole year, not just in September and October. Um, yes, so if you have any recommendations for books by Latinx authors that you think I'll enjoy, definitely let me know in the comments. And then as far as videos and channel goals, <laughs> I would very much love <laughs> to continue the Found in Translation book club. However, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. If I do, um, I think it's going to be just me. And I think it's going to be kind of on a bi-monthly basis, so not every month, but one book every two months. Let me know if you're interested in still continuing. Um, I'll also pop this question over on the Discord as well, um, because when we started, of course, the excitement was very palpable and everyone was excited, but then interest has kind of really dropped off. So definitely let me know about that. But in terms of another book club, yeah, <laughs> I just had this idea last night. I'm like, you know what? Let's try it out. Let's just see if people are interested in. So, I am thinking of creating a sapphic book club because I haven't really seen one around and I, of course, really love sapphic books and that has been kind of my brand on booktube. <laughs> so I kind of want to make a sapphic book club because I read at least one sapphic book a month anyway. So why not? <laughs> um, and I'm thinking of making it a kind of Patreon thing. So I've never done a Patreon before. Let me know if you would be interested in just a regular sapphic book club or a Patreon sapphic book club um, where we read one sapphic book a month, all of different genres, different kinds of authors. Um, and of course, since I will hopefully be doing that, I really want to do more sapphic reading vlogs because I love doing that. I'm filming one right now actually but I love doing that and I kind of miss them. I had been doing one every month and then I just got very, very busy. Um, but I hope in the new year, I can kind of balance my schedule a little bit better <laughs> and create a sapphic reading vlog. Maybe not every month, but definitely more often than I am doing right now. So I'm really hoping to do that. <laughs> so definitely let me know your guys' interest um, about the sapphic book club. And if anyone is interested in perhaps co-hosting, I don't know if I want to do it like I'm the host for every time and then I just have a co-host per month. Actually, yeah, let's do that. That sounds really fun. Um, so if anyone is interested in co-hosting, um, definitely let me know because I'm pretty excited about this. So I think that's it for my more concrete reading goals this year. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I, I tend to say a lot of things and then don't do them, but I'm going to try my best, especially with the Bronte sisters. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try my best. Let me know what your reading goals are for 2023, and I'll be back with a whole bunch of other videos, like my most anticipated releases for the first part of 2023, my stats for 2022, my favorite and least favorite books of 2022, you know, all that fun end of the year stuff. So I'll be back with that really soon. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more bookish videos, and I'll see you next time. Bye!